What's up guys, how you doing? Welcome to another video. So today we're talking again about the Canon R7. Yep, I've done a load of R7 videos in a row. I don't care because I'm really enjoying using this camera and I'm really enjoying talking to you guys about it. So today we're talking about low light performance, higher ISO number performance of the Canon R7. Is it any good? Well, over the last few weeks, we've been talking a fair bit about the Canon R7. And then in those videos, we've touched on ISO performance as we've gone. So spoiler alert, you probably already know by this stage that I don't think it's half bad. But I thought I'd do some specific tests and we'd really get into the detail. For you guys who love the pixel peeping, you want to see the detail. You want clean images every day. You hate the noise. Well, you know what? Let's have a look and let's see how bad it is. So we're going to touch um, to start with um, just on the actual kind of noise performance and ISO and, and, and what am I talking about? Well, you know what? Uh, when it comes to something like the Canon R7, you are talking about a crop sensor camera. Historically, crop sensor cameras have always had um, a lower level of low light performance. You get more noise uh, in higher ISO images. So if you shoot something like a full frame camera, maybe an R6, and you shoot an image at ISO 3200 or ISO 6400, you won't see too much noise in your image. What am I talking about with noise? I'm not talking about someone shouting in the background. I'm talking about the kind of fuzzy, um, bubbly kind of look that you get when you zoom in a bit to an image. That's what's referred to as digital noise. With crop sensor cameras like the 7D Mark II, it was always a problem. People would be nervous about using this camera above like 2,500 ISO because the noise was getting so bad that it was ruining some of the images. From the 7D Mark II to the Canon R7, people were hoping, they were praying that there would be some better low light performance. And a spoiler alert, there certainly is. It's much better low light performance in this camera than there is in the 7D Mark II. And you probably already know that if you've watched my previous video. But let's get into the detail of it. We're gonna do it in one of two ways. We're gonna turn around in a minute on the computer and I'm gonna show you some of the noise zoomed in on some of the photos that I've shot with this camera. I'm gonna show you images that I shot um, 6,400, 10,000, 12,800. We're gonna look at those in the laptop. And then we're also gonna do some tests right here on the desk with our little friend Lego Man, where we're gonna be testing the ISO up to some crazy, crazy numbers, just so that we can for the fun of it. So first up, let's spin round, let's get into the laptop, let's have a look at the images and then we'll come back right here. So I just wanted to touch specifically on these images here. I mentioned this one was shot at ISO 6400 and that's the noise level you get with this camera. Specifically the settings here were 1000 shutter speed, uh, f2.8, 6400 ISO and that's the noise level that comes out of this camera in a low light indoor sports situation. And look how cropped in that is. That is not bad, right? For 6400 ISO, that is not bad at all. This image here, this was shot at 8,000 ISO. So slightly higher. And I mean, if anything, maybe that one looks better than the, than the 6,400. The noise is there, but it's not bad. You're never gonna look at an image like this. You're looking at an image like this, and that is really, really good. This one here, so I bumped up, this one was 10,000 ISO. Not bad at all, right? For 10,000 ISO, that's pretty good. And the extreme one I went to, this one here, was 12,800 ISO. That's not bad. 12,800 ISO on a crop sensor camera, that is not bad at all. Okay, so there you go. Look, having seen those images, people are going to have all different opinions by this stage. Some people will think it's awful. Some people will think, hey, it's pretty good. I would say it's not too bad. Those images at 6,400 are really, really usable. And at 6,400, that's probably the place that I'm at for a lot of my indoor sports or my sports under floodlights. And if I've got images with that level of noise, you know what? I'm going to be pretty happy with it. But that's not good enough testing for us. We're going to get into the details. So what we're going to do, we're going to use our little friend right here. For the sake of this video, we will call him Jeff. Um, we're going to set up Jeff right here on the table. I'm going to turn off my spotlight and we're going to shoot at all different ISO levels. We're going to use different shutter speeds and I'm going to turn the light further and further down to mean that we have to push that ISO higher and higher and see what kind of results we get. Right, let's do that now um, and then we will come back here and we'll talk about it.
Okay, so there we go. We've shot the images. Let's um, get straight back into the laptop and let's have a look at them and compare the detail. Okay, so here's our starting point. We're at 3,200 ISO. So what I will say is the shutter speed and the aperture are the same for all these images. Shutter speed 1,250th of a second, aperture f4, and then I turned the light down in order to need to increase the ISO level. So this one, ISO 3,200, that's our starting point. All these images are straight out of camera, um, haven't edited them at all. I deliberately put them against a lighter background down here and then against the black um, background up here. But that's our starting point, 3,200. This one is 6,400, so 6,400 ISO. You start to see a little bit more noise in the blue on the edge of the arm here. Still not too bad in the black. It didn't focus on the face too well because I'm focused on the body here, but still very usable at 6,400. Right, then we go up. This one is uh, 10,000 ISO we've jumped up to here, so 10,000 ISO. Okay, so at 10,000, you start to see a bit more noise in the uh, the logos on the chest here, right? Slightly worse in the arm, a bit in the black, a bit worse on the legs. You can see it on the, on the kind of edges, right? You can see there's a bit more noise, but that's not bad for 10,000, right? Then we start to hit the bigger numbers. So this is 12,800 ISO. That's interesting. It almost looks... So that's the 10,000 and that's the 12,800. It almost looks like the 12,800 is better. Very comparable actually. So right, then we start hitting the bigger numbers. This one here is shot at 20,000 ISO, 20,000 ISO. Now here you start to see it starting to kick in a bit, right? There is some noise here in the chest. The arms are losing a fair bit of detail. Down here in the shadows, losing a bit more detail. And in the black, yeah, quite noisy, but not too bad, right? Not too bad. Okay, this one is the big one. This is 32,000 ISO, 32,000. Let's have a look. God, I tell you what, guys, that, that's not bad for 32,000 ISO. Look, it's noisy, right? Of course it is, it's crazy noisy, but 32,000? It's not great, there's a fair chunk of noise, but for 32,000 ISO, I mean, that, that is a usable image. Mm -hmm. Shot with the R7 at 32,000 ISO. Okay, there we go, done. Um, so what's our findings? I, I would say that the ISO low light performance is surprisingly good, right? When we got to some of those crazy numbers up the top, look, the, the noise is substantial, especially in some of the darker areas of the image. But it's not horrendous, right? Those images are, are usable up to some crazy high ISO numbers. So I think people who wanted spotlessly clean, fantastic images out of the Canon R7, look, you might be might be disappointed, I, I suppose, but I would say it's pretty good. Those images are usable. They're usable at 8,000, 10,000, 12,800, and even higher. So you know what? It's not that bad, but people can form their own opinions. i tell you what, let me know in the comments below. What do you think? And I think before we round off this video, the last thing just to mention is, of course, nowadays there is some incredible technology that you can use to reduce noise in images. A program that I hear people use a lot um, is a thing called Topaz that, that denoises images. And, and I haven't used it myself, actually. And at some point, I intend on making a video about it and we can test it out here on the channel. But it is absolutely fantastic. So actually, even if you are shooting some noisy images, use something like that and it's going to clean them up for you so maybe all the testing we've done here is void because it doesn't matter you can improve it using something like topaz <laughs> but in the meantime i hope you guys found this video useful if you did do me a favor hit the like button and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already comment below let me know what you think of the canon r7 thank you very much for watching guys and i will see you on the next video